guess what? I actually auditioned for a Netflix show and got the role. So here are some tips any actor can use to nab themselves a Netflix audition. And at the end, I'm going to reveal exactly what I did to book the job. So stick around. Tip number one get in the game. We don't exactly work in an industry where there is a clear ladder to climb to get to the top. But one thing that's definitely going to improve your chances is getting in the game. By this I mean officially make the choice to make acting your profession. Now that does not mean you have to stop any other job that's feeding you and paying your rent. Choosing acting as a career doesn't just mean being on set or on stage all the time. Don't get me wrong, that's a great outcome. But more often than not, there's a lot of work that goes into getting those very opportunities. This can be in the form of educating yourself, classes, networking, joining like-minded communities, showcasing your talent on stage, on screen, or even these days online. Mr. Joe Netflix isn't gonna come just knocking on your door. I'm an actor, but I wish I had something to do at home. I'm just so bored. Why, hello, I'm Joe Netflix. How did you know where I live? I just go to random houses and offer them series regular contracts. Would you like one? Oh my gosh, yes, thank you. That is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? It's almost like it couldn't even happen. But guess what it is? You have to get yourself into the business in order to be exposed to those kinds of awesome opportunities. So do it. Get in and amongst it. Hello? And one surefire, foolproof, guaranteed way to get yourself into the game is to like, comment and subscribe below. Tip number two, get an agent. In truth, having an agent or a manager or both doesn't necessarily guarantee you work as an actor. It's not even a professional imperative that you need an agent to be seen for some of the big time roles on offer at the moment. In saying that, Netflix is such a powerhouse that most agents want their clients to appear on the platform as well. Why wouldn't they? And remember, an agent's job is to get you auditions. So while there is, of course, a chance you could score yourself an unsolicited opportunity to submit yourself for an upcoming Netflix role. Having representation who are always on the hunt for them can't hurt. Also, as you can imagine, Netflix is such a reputable company that they are probably more likely to take a chance on talent who are represented by a reputable talent agency. Tip number three, do your research. Netflix is constantly producing new content all around the world. So if you really want to get on it, you can get strategic. There is so much information these days, mostly online, about what projects are filming where and when. You can probably look even deeper to find out what casting directors are being used to source the acting talent of these various upcoming productions. There's no harm in targeting specific casting directors and politely reaching out to inquire how one might procure an opportunity to be seen by them. There's also no guarantee you'll get a response, but you can try. But I warn you, do not bombard them. They hate that. <gasps> There are respectful ways to get in touch with casting directors, but hounding them for an audition is not one of them. If you are with an agent, it is perfectly reasonable to share your research with them and together start to enact a professional approach to garnering the attention of these casting agents so that they might consider you for any upcoming Netflix roles. In fact, your agents will probably appreciate the initiative you are taking with your own career. Tip number four, be prepared. So you've scored yourself the audition. <laughs> yes, booyah! <laughs> now what? Well, you better be ready to do a darn good performance. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> There's no one there. If the show's already running, go and watch it. Tailor your performance in line with the qualities that the project has already established. If it's a new production, you'll probably rely more on the same sort of detective work you do for other audition scripts you receive. Carefully read the information they have provided for what they are looking for. Identify the genre and tone of the piece. But what I would really suggest here is use your own common sense. Obviously, if you're up for a role in a light-hearted
lighthearted sitcom comedy like Superstore, you're probably not going to endow your performance with the same dark gravitas or gloomy stakes as a character from Ozark. I put my faith in your talent and rational thinking to know the difference. And if there is an accent that is different from your native one, you better be 100% confident with that accent. I, I don't know what that one was. I'm not sure. Do as I say, not as I do. Do whatever you need to do to have that accent down and solid. This is Netflix we're talking about here, people. I'm trying to do it without a good accent. And I'm like, this is Netflix. I'm alone. Tip number five, my secret revealed. <laughs> We're gonna find out. I've actually auditioned for many Netflix productions. I've actually, I've lost count. Which isn't me boasting, it's just hopefully shaping a real perspective on the industry at the moment. Netflix is actually fantastic for taking a chance on plenty of unknown actors. Unlike a lot of network TV stations or studio feature films, which more commonly preference casting name talent. It's probably because most of those other productions are usually seeking celebrity status to entice a greater number of audience. Whereas Netflix is the celebrity, which means it comes with an inbuilt marketability. For instance, if I was to tell you I played the lead role in an independent feature film, and I also had a couple of lines in a Netflix series, which would you be more interested to hear about? Or likely to go and watch? Don't lie, you know which one, you cheeky devils. Well, that's exactly what I'm about to tell you. I was cast in a small role for a Netflix series called Cursed. Here's a picture of me in my trailer. Oh, fancy pantsy, ooh la la. And how did I do it? Honestly, this is my secret. My agent got me a self-tape audition. I treated it like any other audition I would receive did the work I do for any other role for which I am being considered. And with this one, like some others, I was successful. A Netflix audition is no different from any other audition you will receive. I reveal this truth not to dampen your hopes, but to encourage you. I am living proof that getting Netflix auditions and booking the job is a real possibility. It does happen and can happen. Looking back, I know what got me the job. And this is my advice that I would give to all of you out there. Get yourself to a point in your careers where you are putting the same level and quality of your acting into every opportunity that comes your way. Have fun with them. Show how much you love to act. Pour out your passion every chance you get, no matter what the job is. I mean, it worked for me. I booked a Netflix gig. 